With Dragon Ball Super Episode 53 approaching, today guys I'm joined by my friend Geekless TV as we discuss who exactly Black may be in terms of his identity and his identity being revealed. Now keep in mind everybody, this will be an opinionated video and this video will contain loads of spoilers so if you guys haven't caught up with Dragon Ball Super, simply tune off of the video as of right now. Now I wanted to ask you Mr. Geekless, after having to uh, compare the previews, after having to look at uh, Zamasu and his fighting structure and him being hailed as a very gifted fighter, somewhat of a prodigy amongst the Kaioshins. Um, I wanted to know from you leading into uh, episode 53 on your final thoughts as to um, what, exactly what Black's identity may be or at least where he lingers from. Um, I don't really think that we're going to find out necessarily his backstory just yet. Um, I think that there's going to be more more to him than what we originally believe. Now, the one thing I do want to point out here is the fact that during episode 52's preview, we get to see Zamasu and what presumably is his master alongside with him, and they carry out this box that presumably is um, the Rings of Time. We see uh, four green rings, and we see one silverish, silverish white ring that we saw on Black's finger. So, you brought up something very, very interesting off camera right now that I want you to go ahead and express. So, um, having to connect Zamasu to uh, Black Goku and even the uh, yellowish Kai that we saw with Zamasu, what's your take on the entire situation? Well, now I do believe that Zamasu is Black. I know you mentioned uh, off air that you believe that he is not Black. Oh yeah, but I, I have an entirely different theory on yeah, this Yeah, you one. have okay. an entirely different theory. I guess I'll go ahead and start mine first. The reason why I believe Zamasu may be Black is that in this point in time, Black is from the future, sort of, in a sense. I know people are saying that he could easily be Black and that he, he traveled to the future. I think that Black happens to be a future Zamasu. You know, I, what is it, like 17 years, right, into the future? Yes, or? yes. Okay, so I believe he is a future Zamasu who happened to just skip universes. You know, he left Universe 10 and came to Universe 7 into Trunks' timeline. Or, you know, or you know what I mean, into yes, that yes. era. So the reason why I believe that is because... When you actually go and look at the uh, breakdown uh, by Herms, he was saying that the there is a despairing Kaioshin and a gifted fighter. Now, obviously, he could just be referring to Zamasu, but or that summary could be referring to Zamasu, but I think the despairing Kaioshin is the older gentleman, the older Kaioshin, and the gifted fighter, the apprentice, is Zamasu. Right. Now, when you, uh, when you brought up this, the old Kaioshin actually has green earrings. Yes. So, and Zamasu has orange. Maybe he'll get the green ones once he passes him. Who knows? Uh, so, I thought to myself, he has green. Black has green. Okay. And then there's that silver time ring. What if something happens? What if something happens to the old Kaioshin that in the future that leads to Zamasu becoming black? Because we know from the summaries, Zamasu hate. Not he doesn't hate. He distrusts humanity while black hates humanity there's a difference go look up the definitions and black black hates all form of life he just feels oh he, yeah he feels he hates like humanity itself life. is just a part of the problem so my theory is i think something happens to that old kaioshin that finally pushes zamasu over the edge zamasu kind of already had this distrust for humanity but now something pushes him over the edge to where he now not only re uh, wears and rocks the earring of his master or the elder kaioshin but he also took that silver time ring you know what i mean but even and if that's then, the case why take the form of goku if you're supposed to be someone of this higher being that from this higher place why take the form of goku out of all people there's so many questions bro that's why i think it's not going to be confirmed yet even if somehow even in some way they do actually confirm in two weeks that zamasu is black or if they don't, there's still many other questions, bro. Like, how did he get Goku's body? Why did he precisely go to Trunks' time? You know what I mean? There's, like, just so many different questions that I can't really wait to answer. But I do believe that at this point in time, from what we've seen, Zamasu may actually be black. Just He just doesn't know it yet. No, absolutely. Does, I, I, I get exactly question. where you're coming from. And similar to the whole Goten theory, people might say, well, Goten had similar hair and people often compared him to black and stuff. And same thing applies to the green earrings. Uh, just because the yellow Kai has green earrings doesn't necessarily mean that uh, it's black. But he, like, here's something that I thought about while I was at work. I thought about, well, what if, what if it's not Zamasu? What if Zamasu is actually telling the truth? And what if he's not really the one that's behind everything? What if, in fact, the yellow Kai, the Kai that's wearing the green earrings, what if, in fact, he is the one that's black? Um, if, if you look ah. at everything, if, if you kind of put the pieces together, it would kind of make sense 
for Beerus and Whis to interrogate and kind of question the wrong person when in fact the actual person behind everything is standing right in front of them without anybody knowing because why would Beerus and Whis even take into account and question the Elder Kai when in fact they would they would you know come to realization like alright this Elder Kai has nothing to do with it presumably because if you look at everything it, it ultimately boils down to like some CSI stuff you really have to put the pieces back to the puzzle and stuff so yeah. um, obviously they can easily be accusing Zamasu but what if they're accusing the wrong person because again going back to the whole earring things um, I, I find it very weird how the yellow Kai has green earrings meanwhile Zamasu has orange um, if he's supposed to be somewhat of a apprentice or a protege to this um, to this other Kai, why do they have different earrings? Um, correct me if I'm wrong, right? Please correct me if I'm wrong, but didn't Kabito and Supreme Kai of, uh, well, be, uh, Supreme Kai, of course, didn't they have similar earring, earrings in color? Even though one was an apprentice or somewhat of a protege and the other one was the master, um, if that's the way you want to look at it, they still had similar earrings. They were both orange. Uh, same thing applies to the Elder Kai, right? So we have Kabito, we have Supreme Kai, we have the Elder Kai. All of them had the same earring color. They, they, they all had orange. Um, none of them had anything different but in this particular scenario we have Zamasu who has orange and we have this other yellow Kai who has green so something doesn't really add up here so one of my theories amongst the two is the fact that maybe of course they're not gonna get anything out of Zamasu because that's not really black maybe maybe Zamasu is covering for black and maybe the person that we see there the whole time um, the one that's carrying the box because if you think about it right what if what if black already knew but then again people are gonna say well how is the yellow Kai supposed to be black when black is already in a different timeline because the time lines don't really add up so um yeah. you have to put that into question as well because oh, I, I just looked it up the... uh kabito actually has <laughs> funny enough kabito actually has green earrings does he really <laughs> yeah well, and, there you and, go and, he's black then fuck out of here <laughs> he defused and, right he defused with supreme kai so and it's then the him, elder Broly, bro and then no, the elder um, kaioshin like, and the, the supreme kai they have the yellow earrings the 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 whole like the whole theory of like apprentices and masters and, and, and just it's like, Zamasu is supposed to be hailed amongst the Kais as a very gifted fighter. So, one of my theories of the two may, may be the fact that the Yellow Kai is, in fact, black. And, um, they're just hiding his identity because, obviously, you don't want to give off, like, alright... Well, if Beerus and Whis are going to question the right person, they're, they're going to get the answers that they want, and they're going to find out that Zamasu is black. But what if, what, again, they, they find no definitive evidence. But then again, the fans uh, fans have been commenting in my videos saying, well, if Zamasu is supposed to be black, that, is, that doesn't really make any sense because black is in a, an entirely different timeline right now. He's, he's in the future. So how could he be in two places at one time? You get what I'm saying? So my yeah. second thing here, my second little theory is I believe that Zamasu... And this Elder Kai do know of Black's existence, um, but maybe like there's something more to it than what we believe. Maybe they're both in on it. Maybe they're both in on the fact that you know they they're understanding and, and they're they're aware of what Black is doing. They just don't want to give off any you know truth to what's really going on here. So I I do think we have to hold them accountable. Um, and as you yeah. said, you you definitely like you definitely believe that um, that uh, Zamasu is Black, but. What, I mean, again, there's no evidence to sustain that. Some people have been saying, well, his fighting style. What are your thoughts on the way he was fighting Goku? Because as an SSJ2, and, and, and being a Kaioshin, he was keeping up really, really well. And even in my little uh, breakdown analysis, I pointed out that there was one little specific scene. It, it happened really fast, where Zamasu attempted to chop Goku. Very similar to how Beerus chopped uh, Goku back on King Kai's planet, Kaioshin's planet, uh, when he chopped him in the neck and knocked him down. So, what are your thoughts on all of that? Like, what are your thoughts on his fighting techniques and how, how he's able to hold his own, coincidentally enough, against Super Saiyan 2 Goku, just like Black did? It's kind of funny because uh, you mentioned Beerus, and then I know some fans were saying that they mentioned, like, Black, but I thought he fought, he fought in, like, Whis. Like, that's how I thought he was fighting. Really? I thought, like, the way he was moving his hands, the whole old-school martial arts, I thought he was actually fighting more like Whis, but, you know, just to clear up something, I know people were saying that Zamasu right now, doesn't seem like he's all that tough or that Goku's not taking the fight seriously. Guys gotta remember that. I mean, <laughs> I, I hate to bring up the whole power scaling, but Goku right now as an SSJ2 is most likely, judging by the statements in the show, is most likely stronger than his SSG counterpart in the BOG arc. Judging by what Beerus said, that after he absorbed the energy and after he went SSJ, Vegeta was saying that he surpassed the gods and Beerus was even saying he's having even more fun fighting Goku. So if that's the case, Goku as an SSJ2 now should be stronger than that, and Zamasu's keeping up with him. That already puts Zamasu on a completely different tier than the, the, the 
Kaioshin. You remember when Supreme Kai first felt Gohan's power back in the Buu arc? He was like, this is incredible. Well, yeah, he never thought like such a being yeah. existed on so Earth. So look yeah. at look at Zamasu. Zamasu's keeping up with current SSJ2 Goku. But what That's about the fans feat. that are going to tell you, well, you know, Goku is barely tapping into any of his power. So Zamasu well, may not he be He would have strong. two more forms left, but when you look at the preview, man, Zamasu is the one who looks like he's in control of that little scrap. You actually see, you, the, the moment you point out, Goku's the one who looks confused. Whenever Zamasu kind of like sidesteps him and he goes in for that chop, Zamasu looks like he's in control, so we don't know how strong he might be yet. You know what I mean? If he's, if he, I don't want to say, he, I don't want to use this term, but if he's making sport of an SSJ2 Goku right now, who knows how strong he actually is? You know what I mean? I'm not trying to say he may be full power SSB level, but he's not weak by any means. You know what I mean? It's, he's already proven to be way higher than any of the other Kaioshins we've already seen, you know? So, that's my theory on that. But he does seem to be fighting more like Wes, in my opinion. It does go back to that whole gifted fighter thing. He seems to be like a gifted... I don't want to say the word prodigy, but he does seem to be like a very skilled fighter, more so than the other Kaioshins, you know? And especially all the Kais that we saw fighting like Majin Buu and stuff back in the day. Um, yeah. They, they held his... I mean, they held, they actually held their own, but e even saying that Zamasu amongst all of them is quote-unquote a prodigy fighter amongst the Kais it says a lot because I mean because every Kai is different in like their own respects um so I, I can kind of see why people are saying that you know he's an extraordinary fighter even keeping up against as you said a, a very powerful SSJ2 because some people want to make out Super Saiyan 2 to be weak when in fact dude I mean as of right now even after training with gods after training with Vegeta multiple times um, SSJ2 this SSJ2 right now level is, is different from different the Majin Buu level. Yeah, it, they're completely. The people think, oh, he went Super Saiyan. You know, he's he's probably as strong as he was on Namek. No, oh, he goes SSJ2. They think he's as strong as he is on uh, during the Cell games. No, no, these you know them and their powerful and the, uh, them and their transformative states are extremely powerful. You know what I mean? It's just that's just the way I see it. But uh, I mean. Why don't you tell me? What do you think? Like, do you think he was fighting more like Whis, or like, what are your whole? I don't know, man. Like, like the way he was sidestepping Goku and stuff. Like, honestly, like there was one little specific scene. Remember, I, I don't know if you remember, but uh, when Goku went to go throw the punch, he kind of like countered him in a way. Like, he kind of like sidestepped him and like threw his yeah. punch off guard. But Black Black did the exact same thing, except he caught his punch and like he powered up and flung him into the ground. So, um, I don't know That's here. True. Like, I I, 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 do want to agree. Um, and I do want to say that Zamasu is black, because I, I talked about it for weeks now that, if, in fact, it might be black. Um, but having to piece everything together now, I think that Zamasu may be a neutral. Um, even though he completely distrusts humanity, I don't see him getting involved. I can definitely see him saying, alright, well, it's fucked up. How are you going to blame me for everything when I'm over here not doing pretty much anything to affect anybody's life? So, I don't want to help yeah. you. Nor do I want to be involved in your little bullshit. So, I'm going to tell you straight up that it's not really me going on here. So, like, I, I can definitely see him not being involved as much because if we bring him into the picture that kind of like you know like just uh puts the secondary characters um in it like in in and in, 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 in it makes them just look useless in a way like for example right like piccolo and krillin very useless um trunks as of right now fighting against black is useless because we do know what he's capable of and we saw how black whooped his ass so our yeah. only hopes of you know seeing people fight black or vegeta goku um, and possibly the gods if they get if they get involved, but in fact as of right now It's not really their fight, so they can't yeah. get involved um, But what I really think that people are forgetting here is the foreshadowing of Vegeta This man has more hatred for black than I think he ever had for Goku I mean, yeah, there's always been a jealousy for power and stuff like you always want to be stronger than someone right? You always want to be better But the fact that this dude killed his wife in the future tortured his son destroyed his home he has more of a reason now. I mean, even while he was training, Goku's like, yo, he's pissed. So I think that when Vegeta fights Black, that's when it's going to get really, really serious. Um, and I think that when they expose his identity, leading into the next episode, episode 54, with the inheritors of Saiyan Blood, because keep in mind, Vegeta's going to train Trunks. So yeah. he, he's not going to he's not gonna train him like, like some sort of like amateur. He's going to put Trunks to the test. He's going to say, you know what? Enough running around. Enough trying to avoid shit. It's time for you to fucking learn, like, what your father's been doing this entire time. So, um, going back to Zamasu and stuff, I think that if, in fact, this ends up being black, that, that raises even more questions. It's like, why? How? How are you in two different times at the exact same, you know, like, uh, or you're, you're in two different places at the exact same time? Like, um, how are you able to mask your identity? How are you able to hide your key so well? How are you able to, um, pretty much, you know, move throughout time? I mean, we understand, like, how he's able to move throughout time, uh, but we also see that, one, the uh, the whitish you know silverish time ring is in the box, so that might that that might be another ring, 
But then again, I also have that feeling that they must have put that there because they realized, like, oh shit, Beerus and Whis are coming. That's that's not good because as we saw with Black when he first came back into the past, when he saw Vegeta and Beerus, he wasn't really happy. He was like, oh, all right, well, I'm gonna have to watch myself now because what if Beerus gets involved? It's like it's it's even though it's not his fight. He, he can still just do heavy damage. So um, his reaction was still better than Freeza's. Freeza was like, oh yeah, a he was bitch. just like Freeza was like <laughs> Freeza was just like dumbfounded. He was like, what? But Black was more like, all right, I have to take precaution now because I obviously I don't want to you know start a fight I can't finish. So in conclusion, you believe in your heart of hearts that Zamasu, the character, is in fact Black. Yes, okay. I do like your theory though. I think and if you if your theory happens, did happen, I would be fine with it. What's going to happen with his master? Is Zamasu going to kill his master to claim the role and becoming a Kai? Or is something naturally going to happen to that Kai, as you pointed out, that's going to lead Zamasu into just completely getting broken up and just allowing that evil to consume him? Like, what do you think? I think the last one, uh, because like I said, when you look at the uh, opening, Zamasu, like, he looks very confused. He looks like a very, like, he just, there's like a spot where you see him just like, he looks like he's looking into nowhere, you know what I mean? Like, if he's very, like, like if, like, if he's just not in touch with himself, you know what I mean? Like, he looks out of it for whatever reason. So, if right now he already distrusts humanity, if he already does not like them, I think something pushes him over the edge. And, like you mentioned, how the green, uh, the green Kyle or that yellow one, he has the green earrings. You know what I mean? It would just kind of make sense for him to take them, wear his master's earrings, and go around supposedly uh, performing justice by killing everyone. You know what I mean? It's... I, I mean, I, like I said... That's what I think might happen, just due to the fact that I think that is the same time ring, the one that's in the box. What about what about if they if they have some sort of like knowledge and like what like what are your thoughts on like if they have knowledge on him but like they're working with him? Because I mean, because mm. we don't really know the uh, the yellow Kai's motives either. I mean, he could be another one that's like you know what, fuck humanity. So maybe all yeah. three of them are in on it. So like like what are your thoughts on there being like a sort of sort of like a hidden agenda amongst Zamasu his supposed master if presumably it is his master and black like what if there is a secret agenda to wipe out you know the um kind of like the traces of humanity so they can invoke like their own rules of paradise because keep in mind blacks blacks way of justice is more or less like all right well you humans fucked up the gods don't want to do nothing because like they don't want to get involved or whatever like they don't have time but i'm doing this on behalf of the gods i'm gonna do what the gods don't have the courage to do and that's create paradise amongst the universe by wiping out all, all forms of life or, or at least beginning with humanity so what if they're all in on it like 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 what are your overall it would make like, sense. thoughts on that it, it would sort of make sense because not only are we, will we be getting a more in-depth story and we would actually be seeing a different side of the kyoshans that we've already seen you know what i mean we would be seeing like a completely different mindset and plus when you look back at the very 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 first leaks of this arc gods of destruction and the omni king were going to be involved so plural gods not just beerus and other god of destruction is going to be involved and the omni king gets involved and plus you know what i mean it could just like it could be for that reason you know what i mean that they're, they get pissed that the kai these kaioshins want to take actions into their own hands you know what i mean and wiping out and destroying because if i remember correctly if i remember correctly black had said he already destroyed multiple humanities and planets i don't quote me on that if i remember correctly the word planets was in there so if he's going around torturing humanity and, and blowing up their planets you know the gods of destruction might get mad because they're doing his job you know what i mean that's not what a kaioshin's job is supposed to be you know now before so, we go people have often said and i've seen it many times before in my videos people have said well what if this is what if black is somewhat of a previous or current god of destruction from some realm of universe like like what are your thoughts on that because if he's going around doing that i mean people often want to say well that's really that, that that's not anyone's job to do but the gods i mean they destroy but then again people can often make that argument against kid boo because he was a fucking deranged maniac like all he did was just blow up planets but he wasn't a god of destruction so um for pe for people that are saying that black is or at least was a god of destruction like like what are your thoughts on that I could see it maybe happening. It would just be the same reasoning for uh, what the Kaioshins are. We would just see a different God of Destruction with a different mindset. Because even Beerus wasn't that... Not Beerus. E even Champa wasn't that, like, you know, crazy. You know what I mean? Obviously, Black has a hatred for uh, humanity or for mortals. If and as words. you said, that goes back to the Omni King. Because what if the Omni King is like, all right, well, the structural foundation of, like, the gods doing their job has been disrupted because this dude is like yeah. he, he's moving out of his way 
to go into other gods universes and destroy their planet so that like that that's kind of like breaking the rules so like yeah. even if i'm not saying that it is guys even if even if black is somewhat of a god of destruction from one specific time or one specific realm or one specific universe it kind of makes sense to have the omni king get involved because the omni king can look at that and say wait a minute all right so i have all my ducks in a row except for one little particular universe where is the god of destruction from that universe he's not there what's going on and i can definitely see like black trying to like claim the role of you know because like just taking over and like destroying stuff because we uh, we we we, 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 we don't even know like what time what frame what universe black is originally from he could be from the past he could be from the present he could be from the future um but like any final thoughts on that before we go because even though it's very unlikely um you need to have the omni king play a really serious role here so i think yeah, what better role to have than to have him fuck up the, the the rankings of the god's destruction you know tier so what are your thoughts on that you know, like when I say the gods of destruction and uh, Omni King get involved, I'm not saying they're going to come down and fight and throw down. Who knows? They might. But they could just get involved in a political way where they have to, like, govern and pass knowledge on to, you know, Goku and Vegeta. And they have to, like, you know, say, give their say on what's happening. Because, like, you're right. P I've noticed that the many questions, the many videos that I've been seeing uh, from all over uh, the world, DB YouTubers and stuff, the question right now is who is Zamasu? Or who is Black? But there's still so much to the story, even after we find out who Black is, because the Omni King gets involved, Gods of Destruction get involved, you know what I mean? There's just still so much to the story, you know? So, uh, my thoughts on that is just that I really do feel like um, something's going to happen sooner or later, and I like the theory that you brought up about maybe this being a former God of Destruction, or even that Kaioshin, that old one, who's going around and taking actions to their own hands and disrupting this because then that will lead to the Omni King coming. Because it seems like the Omni King is the one who can fire and hire, I guess, cause of destruction, right? He's the one who can, like... Yeah, because dis- remember at the tournament, he was like, well, I'm going to have to appoint new gods now. Yeah, yeah. So he's the one who can get rid of gods of destruction and, and assign them. So obviously, your theory would make sense in that uh, in that way. You know, that's the way he gets involved. You know what I mean? Definitely. Right. I mean, like I said, guys, we have lots of questions. I mean, lots and lots of questions that... We really hope get answered soon. Uh, but drop your comments down below as to if you guys believe that, uh, as Geekless said, Zamasu is black. Or if you guys believe my theory that they're hiding something. Perhaps maybe they're all in cahoots. Uh, let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Thank you guys for watching. Once again, if you guys are fans, don't forget to subscribe for more content like this. Daily uploads and much more. If you guys are excited for episode 53 and 54, punch that like button right in the face, guys. Thank you all for watching. Once again, check out and subscribe to Geekless TV down in the description before he goes back into the past. I mean, who knows? Maybe Geekless is black, but we don't even know about him. Maybe you are. I don't know, bro. You, you, you've, been, you've been MIA on Saturday, huh? I don't know, man. Like, where'd you go? You probably have a ring on you and shit. I don't know. But thank you guys for watching once again. We hope you guys enjoyed. Tune in for the next video, and we'll be seeing you all later. Take it easy, guys. Peace.